Hey guys, it's Regant here and today I'm gonna show you how to rent a Minecraft server on Gportal and gonna explain all of the settings to you and also gonna show you how you can join your own server. So let's get straight into it. First of all, we will have to get on the website and since I'm partnered with Gportal, you can use the link in the video description to get an extra 10% discount on your server and you will also support me while using the link. So after clicking on the link, you will end up on this page here and now we will first have to log in or register. Um, yeah, if you want to log in, you can just log in. If you want to register, just try, uh, press here and here you can choose also the language. Um, you can just log in with Facebook, Google, Twitch or Xbox or just yeah, normally register with your email address. I'm going to log in since I have already an account. And after logging in, you will end up on this page here. Now we can just press rent a server and under our top games, you will instantly find Minecraft and just press order now. Then you have some different presets. Very important uh, with Gportal is that you will always have unlimited player slots on your server. Even on the smallest version, you have unlimited player slots. Obviously, you will have to have some bigger servers if you want to play with many people, like 4 gigabyte, for example, if you have like 10 friends or something. Um, yeah, just keep this in mind. Um, you will also have some pre-installed mod packs that you can choose off. Uh, yeah, we have vanilla right now, but you can also type in paper, for example, then you will get all of the paper versions. Uh, you will also have spigot, purpur and stuff like that. I'm just fine with my vanilla version right now and we're gonna create our own configuration so I can show you all of the settings. So here we can choose again our mod pick version. You can also search again if you want to want a paper server, for example, but I'm fine here with my vanilla server. Then we can select the number of gigabyte for our game cloud, depending on yeah what you want to do with this server, how many players you want to play with uh, on your server, you will have to increase this. Um, if you just have like a friend and you want to play with him or her, then you can just yeah take two gigabyte. This should be fine for for the beginning. Um, I'm gonna choose three days here since yeah um I just want to show it to you. Now you don't see a discount here, so if you don't see the discount, make sure to use the link again. And if you follow the steps now again, you will find the discount this time in your settings here. There we go. Now we have the discount three days, and we are good to go. Also very important available locations. I'm from Germany, so Frankfurt in Europe would be the best location for me. If you live in England, obviously take London and yeah, just the closest location for you. Then you also have some advantages listed here, like a very good support, uh, very high flexibility, a very quickly set up server and stuff like that. And also the support phone number, just write it down probably if you need any support in the future. Um, we get through the payments in a, in a second now, in the next step. So we will just hit continue. Pro by the way, you also see the discount now on the 365 days. So let's just take the three days here. And then we are already at the payment. Now you can choose between PayPal, credit card, instant bank transfer, PaySafe card and pay with our balance. Uh, I have balance right now, so I'm gonna choose this one. And now you also have a small summary of your order here on the right side. And if you are fine with that, just hit the order button. And then it will take just a few seconds before your server is set up. I don't cut anything out here right now. Um, yeah, your product has been activated and now we are already on our server. No cuts at all, like this were like five to 10 seconds. And now we are good to go. So here are your, is your server address. I will show you how to join the server with this one in a second after we went through the basic settings. You can also turn on your server right now, but we will go through the settings anyway, so you don't have to do this, but theoretically you could. Um, then you have yeah your game server load. You, there you can see the CPU usage and you also can see if you need a bigger RAM, for example, or more gigabyte on your server that it's too small because they're playing too many players on it or something like that. Then you have the FTP access data. You will need them if you want to install, for example, plugins or any mods or you want to transfer your single player world onto your server. So then you will need these FTP access data. Um, I've done already more videos about how to install plugins, mods, and how to transfer your world um, in other videos. So I'm going to link them in the video description. I'm not going to explain everything to you now because this would, would be unnecessary since I've done videos about this to these topics already. So yeah, 
just make sure to check out the videos in the video description if you want to transfer worlds or install some other things. Now you can also see the CPU is usage and the RAM here. And yeah. So then we can go into the basic settings here. First of all, we can again choose our mod here. Um, yeah, there are tons of mod uh, mods. You can yeah also type in paper now um, and then we can find everything we need here. Latest version or any older version if you want to play on this. I'm going to let the latest version run now on this server. You can change the name. For example, Regant Test Server G Portal and then just press save. Obviously the server will have to restart now and this can take a second before he saves the name. So I would recommend first of all changing all of the settings you want and then just press save and then the server will automatically restart and then you don't have to do press save after every single setting here. Then world selection. If you have for example imported a single player world now into your uh, with FileZilla into your yeah server then you can choose for example your world here if you say i have a hardcore world that is called hardcore james or something then uh, you will have oh it's loading right now then you will have the option to choose the world yeah hardcore james here now but for me for me it's just a world now we, we could also create a new world but we don't have to change anything here you can choose a world name since it's world you also see the world selection here with world you can choose this or set up a seed for your world um, this is you don't have to change anything here game mode survival creative I think this is uh, self-explaining the difficulty I would set it for example on hard now um, you can turn on pvp you can increase the player slots here we could theoretically put it to a hundred even though our server wouldn't be able to handle a hundred players obviously since we have the smallest possible server and then has some so, uh, settings here that you don't have to change at all um, broadcast message if you want to make a uh, yeah, for example, if you want to announce an event for in three days, then you can just make a broadcast every 10 minutes with a specific message here. Um, extended settings with whitelist, allow flight uh, if you want the people to be able to fly, allow the nether. So most of the settings that are preset here are the correct settings that you want on your server. Um, enforce whitelist or enable command block probably for some players, very important, or force game modes. It go force game mode if you want the players to force in the default game mode um do we have a hardcore you can turn on hardcore um anything else here you can choose the level type for example large biomes or flat world super flat is also here yeah there we go so you can change this you can change the max build height here the maximum tick time before the server starts to crash uh, but normally the presets are as I already mentioned fine here you can yeah choose the op permission level if you want some people to have yeah permissions on your server um prevent proxy connections if you have a community server and you don't want any people to join from another yeah from from a proxy here but normally you don't need this um anything else very important spawn animals if you don't want animals or monsters or npcs to spawn you can just turn this off if you are annoyed by monsters and you don't want them just turn this off and you're good to go spawn protection and view distance here you can turn on the whitelist so you can type in a player name here that you want to be whitelisted on your server if you don't know what whitelist is if i would type in now uh, james the player james could join my server but if uh, for example regant wouldn't be on the list Obviously, I'm the admin, so I can join. But if I wouldn't put in Regant here, I Regant couldn't join the server. So this is pretty nice if you play just with some friends and you don't want to make some struggles with password and stuff like that. Just make a whitelist, type in your friends here, and then you are good to go. And they can join the server. No one else can. Operators here, obviously, if you want some supporters for your servers that have yeah, some permissions level as we see already, you can just put the player in here with permission level 4 and add to operators and he will have some yeah permissions on your server to ban people, for example. Then you can also manually ban people here from the console or from the yeah dashboard or however you want to call this here. And yeah. Then we can go into file manager. Normally you don't have to change anything here. If you change anything here, you normally do this through FileZilla. At least I do this like this. And I'm also explaining this with the FileZilla in my other videos. You have the console if you want to do something here. You also have some commands. For example, if you want to kill someone or change the weather, you can do this here without logging into the game. 
you have the region fixer. This is not often needed, but sometimes you have some destroyed or corrupted chunks that causing some problem, then you can fix them with the region fixer. Then you just have to press execute and change, choose the settings here, entities per chunk and stuff like that. And then you can fix some problems here. Then you can re uh, schedule restarts here. I would recommend a, a restart every three to six hours, depending on the size of your server and what are you what you're doing on this server. If you're using it like very often with many friends, then just do it every three hours, and you should be good to go. And you can, but you could also do this like weekly, once a week, and then make multiple schedules. Uh, yeah, but I would recommend just twelve. Then on. 3 p.m., 6 p.m., 9 p.m., and so on. So you have a backup every three hours. Then, very important, backups. Many people are lazy doing them, but before you change anything, changing plugins, mods, um, transferring a world, or changing some basic settings, uh, make sure to always create a backup. A backup cre creation will just take a few seconds, um, as you see, and it can save you a lot of struggle since if you do some install a mod and it destroys the server, then your server is gone or your world. If you have a backup, it's fine. Then you can just load the backup and everything is as it was and you haven't lost your world. Then you also have this here, automatic backups are currently off. You can turn this on and you have uh, automatic backup, for example, always at, yeah, during night, one time, once a day. And then you don't have to do this manually, but keep in mind if you have a problem like eight hours after the backup cr was created, then you lose eight hours of progress if you have played in that time. Then you, you have a backup storage here and yeah. Here you can give out some permissions to players. If you play, for example, very often used for that, if you play with three friends on your server, um, you can just type in their G portal usernames here. And then on their G portal account, they will have access to the server settings as you do right now. Though that's very good. So if you're not online, that you don't have to give them your account details. Or if you go on vacation, they just they just have access to the server settings, can reset the server, can create backups. So very very nice to very nice option here to work with if you have some people that you trust and you can give access to your server here. Uh, obviously, just give this to people that you trust. Don't give it to a random person. Otherwise, you can just try everything. But if you have just some friends make sure to share this here with them so everyone can just change the settings without giving them any login details. Mm -hmm. Then the support here, if you have any struggle with your server, you can go into the wiki, the forum, create a ticket, write a ticket, or yeah, just call the hotline here. Then you also have the forum and the wiki here again, and also the discord. And yeah, if but if you have any questions or struggles with your server, you can also write in the comments here. I can't promise you that I can answer everything. Um, yeah, I, my knowledge is also limited. So in the worst, well, in the end, you will probably have to call the de uh, the G portal support. So now I would say let's join our server. It's already online, as already mentioned. Now we have to go into status and copy our server address. Just press this button here and it's already copy copied. And now just start the game. So there we go. Then you can just go on multiplayer and either now direct connection or add server. Now we let's type in regans g portal server and then type in the server address. I don't have a password, so we don't need a password right now. And if we want to join it now, you already see, oh, fail to connect to server in capital client. Please use 1.20.4. I'm on, um, as you see already here, 1.20.1. So I will change this real quick. So here we are in the Minecraft launcher real quick. If you don't know how to change the version, um, here I have this fabric loader right now with some mods and I go on the newest version now, 1.20.4, and then we can just start it. But normally this should be preset here with, for you. So if you have this, if you haven't changed anything here, this should be normal and everything should work here. So there we go. Now we can go on multiplayer and we can, we see our server here, Regan G portal server, now join server. And we are good to go. Our server is working and we can start playing. You will obviously have to give the server address now to your friends so you can play with them. But now we are good to go and start playing on your own server, installing mods or anything you want. 
So then we are already at the end. As already mentioned, I would really appreciate if you uh, would use the link in the video description and you also get a 10% discount on your server then. And then hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.